This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. We walk. We never stop. Even if one body pauses, the sound of a thousand feet hums in the back of its head. Right now we flow down the hill, a parade of twisted flesh and jagged metal. At the foot of the slope, the others are eating. A small group. Weak, young bodies. Barely worthy to exist. They were lucky to catch someone more pathetic than them. The fresh cadavers they have drained of essence fill us with envy and hunger. We come close. Suddenly there are no others anymore, only us. Our memories join, like the skin of the hand fits meat and bone underneath. Theirs are the visions of sacred bipedal creatures with an unlikely smell. Ours are the memories of a long trek through deserted battlefields. One of our new memories catches our attention. A threaded blade arm stabs a pale creature clad in fur and leaves. No blood comes out. The skin parts like rubber and long vines burst through to seize our weapon. With a high-pitched cry, the creature counter-attacks, driving the tip of her spear through our eye. The memory goes dark. We become less. Now that we are more again, sensing our surroundings from hundreds of different viewpoints, we catch a glimpse of a larger group of forest creatures disappearing over the horizon. They came far from their land. They shouldn't be here. And they won't be here for long. When she was just a sproutling, Iris used to have a dream. Or rather, a nightmare. She was running through the woods, trying to outpace a predator that followed her steps. It was ceaseless, tenacious. Her legs grew weak, her breath short, but the predator didn't seem to lose any strength. Not even the deepest groves of the mother forest, where branches and thorns peeled off her fake human skin, could hide the tree maid. The ending was always the same. A hot, moist breath on the nape of her neck, the feeling of her legs giving away, the pure terror. For the last two days, all of this returned as she ran from the columns of faceless, converging from all directions at once. These monstrosities never slept and never ceased moving, just like the predator from her dream. Her nightmare became a reality. One moon ago, when the oracle told her they were going to cratered fields beyond the human refuge of Eldhain, Iris knew the mission would be dangerous but she also trusted the wisdom of her queen, perhaps too much. Even the oracle didn't foresee a major demonic offensive that left their path riddled with fresh battlefields and raised villages, where no one had time to bury the dead. And so Iris and her warband walked right into the middle of the largest faceless infestation she has ever seen. In the beginning, Aisha, their field commander, remained calm. These carrion eaters can be fooled, she said. There are old rites that can cover our smell and shield us from their eyes. But the magic didn't work. To the horror of everyone in the warband, the faceless seemed drawn to them just like young leaves are drawn to the sun. Soon Iris knew only one thing could happen. She was about to face the horror of her youth, and with no real hope of victory. Hello everybody and welcome. I am joined by Pavel from Awakened Realms and today we are going to be playing The Edge. This is going to be the first in a series of linked campaign games. So, uh, Pavel, which of the three campaigns are we playing? Because I know you have three in the War Chest box. Yeah, there are three campaigns in the War Chest box. We will be playing uh, Faceless versus Reborn. Ah, I see. So, uh, this one right here. Yeah. And how many missions does this give us to play against? Uh, this campaign consists of 10 missions. There are a bit more than 10 mm -hmm. because uh, campaign branches a ah. bit at some point. So some missions will be alternative to one another. Ah, I see, I see. Well, uh, let's actually just give everybody a quick tour of the board and some of the, the main stuff that people are going to be looking at. So uh, the board itself is a, a hex board with two types of uh, hex in it. So what are they? Yeah, there are uh, small hexes. Uh, we call them, obviously, hexes. Right, so anything inside one of these lighter borders. And each um, of the hexes uh, with his um, bordering ones mm -hmm. um, takes up one space. Okay. Space is this one. Uh, yeah, the larger place. One. Yeah, this is the place with this uh, slightly bigger outline. Mm -hmm. And this is the main uh, range. Uh, Oh, the measurement? Yeah, the measurement. Okay, Thank so, you for the word. So if I was yeah. going to be moving, I would start in a space, move to a space, and then anywhere within that space? Yes, exactly like that. Gotcha. All right. Uh, the next thing then is we're playing scenarios. So we, we do have our forces. We have three uh, units each. Yep. Yeah, and for the first scenario, we will have three units each. Mm -hmm. uh, during the campaign, your forces will grow uh, larger, mm -hmm. but sometimes uh, they might be a bit smaller than usual. 
I see. Okay, so well, we have our unit cards, uh, which have all the different stats that we need to learn about. So what are our stats here? Yeah, so for example, we have here a uh, Faceless Berserker squad. Mm -hmm. As you can see, uh, there are four different uh, statistics attributes, we call them in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, so the first, the blue one, is the initiative. Mm -hmm. It uh, says who will attack first in close combat. Gotcha. Uh, plus one uh, on the red uh, space, it's an attack mm -hmm. value. It says uh, how many uh, you add to value of your dice roll. Mm -hmm. We have two types of dice in the game, more about them later. We have plus zero to defense on the green side, uh, green space. Mm -hmm. And on this uh, brownish one, we have a movement range. In this case of Berserker, this is movement of one. one. Okay. Uh, underneath, we have uh, one crystal. It costs one crystal to flip the Berserker card. Ah, I see, and that changes on, our stats. Yeah, and in case of uh, Faceless, they will evolve during the game. Mm -hmm. And as they evolve more, they will grow more powerful. Gotcha, gotcha. We then have two more stats over here. So yes. we have a shield with a one, so what's that? Uh, that uh, denotes that the Berserkers, uh, as a squad, uh, start the game with one, as you can see, endurance token. Mm -hmm. And then the, the and final one is we have three little white diamonds above that. Yes, and they say that this squad consists of three models each. Okay, and that's the same for every stat card across the game. Yes, exactly. Just some like of the mechanics that. slightly change in the corners where you're changing how you flip. Yeah. Or, you know, changing the actual number of the unit you have or the number that your stat is worth. Yeah? Yes, exactly All like right. that. Let me make sure and put this guy back to his basic mode because I don't want to cheat you and start with something evolved. All right, <laughs> all right. Actually, you will start with something evolved in the will first I? scenario. Yeah, we led to the players to have some toys, okay. even at the beginning of the campaign. Mm -hmm. So the Faceless will start with one of their squad uh, evolved, and it's uh, the choice of the player. Ooh, what choices? So my choices are, I've got Harvester, which is my biggest guy, which is this one, and then I've got two squads of Berserkers. I think this is going to be a hero faction, so I'm going to upgrade that Harvester to his next level to start with. <laughs> All right, quite quite a fine choice, actually, may I say. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I will start this uh, first mission with uh, not usual two crystals, uh -huh. but four of them. Oh, actually, so you get some more resources uh, than me. Yeah, my forces are coming back from a successful howl. Mm -hmm. They got they got some more uh, resources to spend during during this mission. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's let's have a look at some of the other locations. So along the backboard, this is where our units are kept. The crystals then, what are the spaces that we use for that? Uh, we have two spaces for the crystals. Mm -hmm. The bluish one is the space for the uh, active crystals. Mm -hmm. The crystals you can spend uh, to use your actions. Mm -hmm. And the other one on the side. So this one here, yeah? Yep. Uh, this is the place where the crystal go after they are spent. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, then I'm also seeing we have a, a deck of cards here. Is this like special abilities and stuff? Yes. Uh, all of your units have some uh, cards which are associated with them. Uh -huh. And they con uh, contain many of the abilities which they are able to perform during the game. Awesome. Uh, we then get this token. What is this? This is the token which denotes whose player turn it is now. Because uh -huh. in the, during the game, uh, you can play more than one combat per turn. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it gets really convoluted who actually started the fight. So okay. this token helps with that. Okay, and then the dice themselves. You said we have two types. I'm seeing yeah. red and yellow here. Is that the only dice we're going to use for this game? Yes, exactly. Uh, the Edge is a game uh, which has only D6s in it. Mm -hmm. And we have two different kinds of those. As you, as you said, uh, we have yellow and red dice. Mm -hmm. uh, red dice are normal D6s mm -hmm. with some special symbols on it. More about them later. Yeah. And the over ones, the yellow ones, as you can see, have zeros ah. up to four. On gotcha. Them. Okay, interesting. Well, um, I think that's all the main components. Well, so let's actually get ourselves set up to play. Yeah. So how do we begin? Okay, so for this first uh, scenario in the campaign, uh, actually, I will start the deployment. Uh -huh. So we start the deployment with uh, crystal sources. Uh, so that's these big tokens here, yeah? Yes, and exactly. Go somewhere on our board? Yeah, we will place them alternatively. Mm -hmm. So I start the deployment, you will start the game. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind during the placement mm -hmm. uh, of the crystal sources. And I will start by placing uh, this one over here. So the next ones mm -hmm. should not be in 
two spaces radius uh, around this one. So I could go here, yes. here, 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 and so exactly. on. Exactly. All right. Hmm. Well, you see, you have a lot of crystals to start with. So I think what I kind of want to do is just set myself up so that I can have some of these on my side because these are what you're going to use during the game to actually gather more of these crystals, which are quite useful. So that's my one, Dad. Okay. Well, you put another one over here. Ooh, interesting. Um, I think I'm maybe just going to build everything on my side of the board then, seeing okay. as you're, you're giving me access to those, those points. Okay. I think that's quite nice for me. Now, uh, for this first scenario, what is the mission for each player? All right, so for this scenario, you will have to kill all of my three mates. Okay, so that's your single base infantry? Yes, exactly. Okay. They are pretty, um, pretty weak in terms of statistics, but they have uh, some really nasty abilities, you should be aware. Okay, mm, thanks for the early warning. Ah, you're <laughs> welcome. And uh, uh, for me, it's, uh, I need to survive with those, at, at least two of them. Uh -huh. And if I manage to get my ancient guardian, uh, alive the also, guy, yeah. yeah, it's actually a lady. Oh. Sorry, it's a lady also. Okay. It's like uh, up armored tree maid. Right. And uh, if she's uh, surviving the game, mm -hmm. it's also some special bonus for me uh, at the end of the of the scenario. Okay. Mm. So, so now you see your objectives, and your objectives are completely opposite. Kill all four of those. Yeah. And if you manage to kill this one, uh, I deny you the bonus. Yes, exactly. Uh, and you probably get one yourself. Mm. See, I, I kind of like that, that I'm not just aiming to kill the big thing straight off the bat. You yeah. know, it, it's, it's a nice change, because normally it's just, that thing's big and shiny, go kill that big shiny thing. No, 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 just, just kill everything else, that's fine, leave the big shiny thing alone. Yeah, that's, <laughs> the, that's the thing with the, with the scenario. Scenario is pretty much story driven, mm -hmm. so uh, those three maids are actually one of those. Mm -hmm. is carrying a reborn a super weapon. Ah, and I see. probably probably you might not like what this super weapon does. Why do I have the feeling it's it's basically specifically geared to defeat my faction? Maybe it could be, <laughs> you know, both uh, both of our factions are uh, driven by, you know, constant change, mm. evolving adaptation. So, yeah. you know, we have this yeah. opposite kind of opposites mm. but still going the same way. Yeah, well, this actually brings me to the next thing that I would like to show everybody, which are these. So you get one of these for each faction. They are a really handy cheat sheet. So on this side, you've got the breakdown of all the different units. You've got what your banner does, which will come into the game later. You've got what each of the different tokens is. Yep. Uh, you've got this, which is a shrine. Yeah, we will um, have the shrine in the next uh, battles. Mm -hmm. And then here's what I like. So you've got this nice big wedge of story here to actually introduce yeah. you to your faction. A nice little tactical guide here to actually give you some you know, tips on how to pick them up. And this is actually what your starter deck should be if you're playing just basic games, yeah? Yes, if you play skirmish, go with these, mm -hmm. you will not be wronged. But wait, there's more. So we flip to the other side and we have all the different card types that are in your deck with a little bit more of a detailed description. Think of it like a, an FAQ that's just on one page beside you in your hand. That's super handy because the, yeah. the text, you guys went really beautiful with them, kept the text really condensed. So if, if you're a little confused by a card, just grab that and give it a look. Yeah, exactly. Okay, uh, deployment then. Yeah, so we deployed the crystal sources. Mm -hmm. In normal game, we would deploy uh, shrines now, but uh -huh. Since it's start of the campaign, we don't have any shrines, mm -hmm. we don't have any banners. Yep. So now for the deployment of the squads, we will deploy uh, a squad each. Mm -hmm. So I start, I start with my uh, Ancient Guard. Mm -hmm. Any rules for this? Uh, yeah, it does, doesn't uh, have, it, it cannot actually uh, be in base-to-base -base contact with any enemy model, uh -huh. nor with any of the crystal sources, nor with any of the shrines. Gotcha. Okay, off you go. All right, so my uh, guardian will guard this space over Oof, here. Right in the middle. Yes, mm. pretty aggressive, actually. Yeah, I think I'll grab one of my berserker units. Mm -hmm. And now, is there any rules for deploying units like this? Yeah, actually, uh, your unit uh, cannot uh, be in more than... Actually, your unit can be in more than one space, uh -huh. but your base cannot be in two spaces at one time. So I deployed uh, my Ancient Guardian mm -hmm. like so, but I couldn't, for example, do it like that. Ah, I it's see. an illegal uh, placement of a model. So if I do this, I assume my guys all have to be in coherency yes, touching to begin with? Yes, but this coherency needs only to be uh, during the deployment. Okay, well, that's my, my first unit down and ready to go. Yeah. 
so I will deploy my three mates. Mm -hmm. You want to catch them, so probably, I want to kill them. Yeah. Yeah. Either I will get my blight seed maybe and mm. leave them for the for the last. Yeah. Now one thing I like is there's no preset deployment zone. You can just deploy anywhere. Yeah. So. Uh, the thing which driven us to take this uh, this decision during deployment mm -hmm. was that this is not the start of the actual fight. Mm -hmm. It's like you know, like in the movie, you just uh, pressed pause, yeah. and now we play. Yeah. And this is like middle of it. Yeah. But this adds a nice little bit of tactical depth to the game, where you're sort of trying to outthink your opponent yeah. as to what you're gonna do. Uh, exactly. Uh, Blightsteed, uh, they are, as you can see, cavalry unit. So mm -hmm. I deployed them a bit further away. They mm -hmm. have nice movement allowance. Uh, I will place my guy here. So this is my harvester. Yep. So right next to your big guy, if if he tries anything, I've got enough there to deal with him. I'm trying to ignore this for now, because <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. sure it probably hits like a ton of bricks. Yeah. And that leaves you deploying your, your tree maids, yeah, that's while I still have a nice unit of berserkers to go. Yeah, that's my last unit, so mm -hmm. I think I will deploy them a little bit further away. Mm -hmm. I thought you might. Yeah, like so. Hmm. I think I'm going to be a little bit sneaky. So I will go of course. one, two, and three like so. Mm -hmm. And now I am also in three different spaces, but still in coherency. Yeah. Now the only rule is you can't be in base contact with an enemy. So yes. I can occupy the same space as you, not a problem, yeah? Yeah, that's correct. Awesome. Right, uh, so that's us set to begin the game. Yep. Is there anything else we need to cover? Because I, I know there's a narrative behind all of this that we're really wanting to bring out to everybody. So is there like a, a chunk of story that I can read out for everybody for this particular part? Yes, if you want. Feel uh, free. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we have two copies open. of the, the campaign here. So yeah, this is the there was the prologue for the whole so campaign. This is the, the hunters and the prey. Yeah, exactly that. OK. OK. There's a, a, there's a lot of it, actually. <laughs> we are to our enemies, the more of us come. We are all drawn to this band of forest creatures, a desire stronger than hunger, something we fail to understand but still obey. We continue merging with smaller groups, each bringing its own memories. A few old berserkers remember how to fight the tree-like guards. They help us remember where the thick bark gives way to soft, vulnerable flesh. A lone harvester knows how to brace against the change of the bulky forest mounts. Two blade breeders recall a smell and soft tingling of air that appears when tree maids are about to use their magic. Sharing this knowledge, we become wiser. There's little they can surprise us with. We double our pace, and soon we catch up with their rear guard. They have no choice but to fight. So basically, they're moving through the forest, and these are just some ragtag elements of my faction that have stumbled across them. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Like that. Uh, the reborn faction, which is the green ones, if you hadn't noticed. Kind of makes sense. Yeah. When Faceless once again descended upon their warband, Aisha, Iris, and other tree maids became paralyzed with fear, not because of the enemy. After all, nature itself had no sense of losing or winning. It only pushed forward young vines pressing against rocks and city walls as stubbornly as they did against the soft soil. No, Aisha's band was afraid because they have always believed their oracle could see every possible future. The fact they were cornered by Faceless meant one of two possible things. Either the Oracle planned for them to be killed and assimilated in some horrific way, or worse, her prophetic powers failed. Their mission, the most important task any one of them had ever received, was doomed. The sowing would never reach the Mother Forest, lost before the Reborn had a chance to use it. This fear didn't last long. Soon, Clarity returned showing a singular path forward. They needed to protect the sowing to the last, with everything they had, and they just happened to carry the largest haul of pure crystals on this side of Altine Crater. Uh, I think we are just about ready to kick off then, yeah? Yes, exactly. So you will start the game, mm -hmm. and at the start of uh, each active turn, mm -hmm. we will draw up to three cards on our hand. Okay, uh, well, let's draw our cards, and we will be back in a second. Okay, everybody, we're ready to get stuck in. Anything forgot before we start? Yeah, I still get to place two thickets. You get to evolve your harvester, yep. so I need to get my toys also uh, on the table. You get your bonus. Thickets are parts of the Mother Forest, mm -hmm. so they are pretty useful because they can give me some pretty good advantage and more board control. 
Okay, Actually. so, so the first one will be placed. Uh, I can place them anywhere on the board. Okay. Now, is this as soon as this after deployment, you would do this? Yeah, it's the last step of the deployment, actually. Gotcha. All right, well, that's one. I've this evolved my harvester, who's who's pretty beefy now. Yeah. And the second one will be placed over here, so you'll mm -hmm. have some. So you don't have so uh, easy access to the, mm, such easy access to the crystal sources. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. All right. So to the cards, and you start the game. Yeah. I think what I'll activate first, well, seeing as I level them up, I'm going to go with the harvester. So it'll move for one and go in to attack your guy. I assume it doesn't matter what way these face. Yeah. Just as long as they're properly in their spaces. Yes, exactly. Uh, so he moves. Can he now attack? Yeah, exactly. When you activate your uh, squad, mm -hmm. you can perform a movement mm -hmm. action and an attack action. Right. Does and it have to be in the order? No. You can first attack and then move away. Awesome. There is nothing like uh, opportunity attacks mm -hmm. if you start in base to base contact. You Perfect. Can just move away. All right. So I'm going for an attack, which would get me one of the yellow dice to attack with. Yes? Yeah, exactly like that. Now, uh, looking at my stat card, I've got a plus three to start with. Yeah. You mm -hmm. can think about uh, paying for the red die. You can yes. at any moment pay with a crystal. Yeah. Or an endurance token. Ah, which is the gray to. ones. Yes. So I could either you pay with these or this. Yes. I think I'll pay with uh, a crystal for now. Okay. And that will upgrade my yellow dice to a red dice with a plus three because I'm, I'm looking at your ancient guard I and I'm seeing a... their defense quite easily across the table is also a three. Yeah. So I'm thinking this gives me a good chance of beating him and actually maybe knocking off an endurance point. Yeah. Let's see if I'm right. For a four, mm -hmm. uh, that's a seven. That's a seven. So I'll take that. I think. I will also pay for a red die. Ah, you have more resources than me. Yeah. And I will also use a red die. Uh -huh. What do you get? A six. Damn ah. it! You see? <laughs> <laughs> the dice gods, they turn from All me. All right. So now I defended successfully, and now it's time for a counterattack. Mm -hmm. Whenever a squad defends successfully, it gets a counterattack. Yep. So I think you have defense of what? One? Uh, defense one, yeah. Okay, I have attack of plus two. I will pay for another red die. Oh dear me. Alrighty, maybe another six. Hit me! Yep. Yeah, why not? Damn it! Okay, so with my defense of one, I can't do it with a yellow dice. Yep, neither can you actually use the red one. Because it's um, yeah, eight you gotta, in total. Yeah, total. So there'd be no point in me spending anything. What's yeah. going to happen is I'm going to lose an endurance point here. Yep, exactly. Unfortunate. Right. But, but still, you get to roll the die. I Remember roll about the die. these uh, cogwheel ah, yes. symbols. Yes. So one thing we didn't talk about with the cogwheels. If you get them, you can either pay a crystal or any of the other currencies to actually re-roll it, or you can just regen one of your, your crystals. Yep. So let's see if I get lucky here. Oh, I do not. not. Oh, well. That's Such still life. worth the. Yep, it's it's worth making that roll. Thank yeah. you for reminding me. All right, so okay. end of my turn. Any of the cards? Nothing. Hmm? Nothing playing on the cards. Um. Okay, so here's a question for the cards. They have two halves to them. Can the top yeah. half be played by anybody? Yes, exactly like so. The top half is available to any of your units, mm -hmm. and the uh, bottom one is either to any of the squads. Mm -hmm. Or to the squad which is written there. Okay, I will play one then, which is okay. for one crystal. Yeah. I get to fight you again. All right, it's additional combat. Yes. All right. You don't need to use uh, this squad which you activated. It actually can be played on any other squad if you really? want. Really? Well, uh, it's the only yeah. one I have in combat. Yeah, of course. And I, I kind of want to start making the, the attempt on that tree guard now. So okay. uh, I could spend another endurance point to bring this to a red again, but mm -hmm. I don't want to just burn my resources early. So oh, <laughs> a zero. zero. Uh, I fail, but I do get the point back. Yes, exactly. Fine. Exactly, but um, I still get to defend against that. You do? Yeah. Ah, because I didn't do a damage. I will use that. Yellow die. Yellow? Okay. Wonder why. <laughs> for a zero. Still a tie goes yep. for me. Uh, goes for you? Yep. Defender? Yeah. Uh, so what, would I take a point of damage from that? No, I still need to roll. Remember that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yep. I roll. Uh, first, I refresh a crystal. Yeah. Then I get to choose the die. I think I will go with yellow one. I don't want to finish mm -hmm. off you off. It's a counterattack. 
Uh, yes, yeah, so you rolled time. to attack. Gotta no, no, you rolled to attack. That's that's why we have this oh, token. Yeah. It's okay. still your turn, so I get to counter attack. Oh, so you're pay are you paying a gem to re-roll the cog? No, I don't want to. I just refreshed it. Uh huh. And, and you're then about to roll again. I get the counter attack because you attacked me second time. But that's that. It was the counter. T oh yeah, that was your defense roll. Yep. Okay, now I get it. <laughs> All right. My brain. All right. So. A yellow die for me. Uh -huh. a it's one. a one, so one plus two is three. Uh, I've got one, so I can do it on a yellow die. Yeah, but maybe... Nah, nah, nah. nah. Okay. A zero. So I'll take a reroll. All right. Uh, for a three. a three. So you I'm survived. Fine. And there is no counterattack after counterattack, yeah. so we don't have endless loops of, <laughs> you know... Yeah, although that... that facing that, off and... That you know, instantly says... Be careful when you're attacking his stuff. Make sure you, the odds are in your favor. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> That's pretty wise advice. I may be being a little greedy here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. so my turn's done. Yes, End you draw turn. up to three cards. Well, I can discard one before I end my turn, yes. yeah? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. I want to keep these, so I'll just draw a fresh one. All right. Hmm. So, your turn, sir. Exactly. I would like to finish off your harvester. All right, so I think I will activate my three maids. Uh huh. Oh no, they're gonna run yeah. everywhere. Yep, exactly. So <laughs> they will it. be a bit harder to catch. Okay, so the first one, one and two, goes uh -huh. over here, so she can get me some more crystals, mm -hmm. maybe. One and two over here. Uh huh. This one we will go over here. You will see why in a moment. Okay. And I have some sneaky plan. And one and two over here, just next to my thicket. Okay. It can be useful. And uh, first thing, yeah, I will pay one crystal uh -huh. to play uh, Paralysis. Oh, what's that do? And this one uh, will make me actually attach a token, mm -hmm. with a second Paralysis token. On that one. This is where the cheat sheet comes in handy. You don't know what the token yeah. means? Just have a look down. And uh, I can paralyze any of your models uh, in range one of any of my uh, reborn models. Okay, so what uh, what would range one be then? Range one would be any um, neighboring space. So in this example, if there would be any of your models in I one see. of those spaces. Ah, oh, so, so you can lock this unit. Uh, not unit. One model. Oh, just one and model. You have one one really beefy model which I want to lock up. Okay. Oh, okay. As you can see, <laughs> of course, your harvester is now paralyzed. Yeah. It will stay there mm -hmm. until your passive turn. Okay. So you have the choice to either keep it paralyzed or not. Mm -hmm. uh, is and that all you're doing on your turn? <laughs> no way. No attacks? No attacks, because three mates are not made for attacking, actually. Yeah. And the other one will be Allure. Okay. I will pay another crystal. Uh huh. And what's this do? Uh, this is the bottom part. Uh -huh. I choose one enemy model base to base with a tree mate and perform a move with it. Oh. So they can tell you where to go. They, <laughs> as you can see, they are beautiful females. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, their uh, charms work for... Of course. Uh, all, even faceless. Yeah. All right, so I will choose uh, this bad guy over here uh -huh. and tell him to just walk away. Like so. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. And that would be the end of my turn. I draw up to three cards. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm seeing an instant problem with my berserkers. They're quite slow. Yeah. They can only move one space. So your tree made... But they can move two spaces. Mm. And yeah, you so can I, activate I a squat. Yeah, yeah, but I need that, that harvester sort of freed up. Yeah. Because he's got six movement, so he's the one that should really yeah. be chasing them down. Or you could think about uh, flipping the Berserker squad card. Mm. But I would need to take a passive turn to actually get that. So, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to activate this Berserker squad mm -hmm. with their move of one. Yeah. They will go a one. All right. And a one. All right. And this guy mm -hmm. will go one to here. Okay. So what this is doing is, I've got two guys who can uh, attack, and I've got yeah. one guy who, when my passive turn comes around, will generate me an extra crystal. Exactly. At least that's my thinking, anyhow. 
So, Berserkers on the attack are initiative one. Yeah. And my Ancient Guardian has also initiative of one. Mm -hmm. But in this case, as you are uh, the attacker, mm -hmm. you get to attack first. Yeah. So, we do it as a two mm -hmm. uh, consecutive combats. Okay. So, so first, one full first combat. Berserker, yeah. combat, counter attack eventually. Yeah. And then the second combat and gotcha. counter attack. All right. Uh, so, these guys are only a plus one. But oh, I, I kind of want to start three. putting okay. pressure on you. Okay. So if I get a lucky roll here, I get a lucky roll here. So that's a f that's a five. Yeah, that's a five there. So four plus one becomes a five. Excellent. Mm, yep. And you get to defend. Yeah, and I think I will also use a yellow die. So you need a two. Yeah. And a I zero. got zeros. Okay. Do I want a reroll? Yeah, I think I will go for a reroll. Okay. I pay a crystal. Uh huh. And a yeah. three. Yeah. So I defended. Yep, and you get a counter attack. Yes, exactly. I don't have any uh, crystals to spare. Yep, but Th this I is kind of what I'm planning on right now is force you to spend those resources. I think uh, I will pay with one endurance token out of Blightsteed. Ah, okay. So they will sacrifice some of their endurance mm -hmm. to let me use the red die yep. for my counter attack. Okay, so you're on a plus two, my defense is plus zero. Yep. So, yikes. And I roll a five. Oh. The dice gods are with me. So, so there it's is, a seven. There is no way to defend that. Nope. So let's say that this Berserker unit, they'll lose their endurance. But still, you get to do our dice roll. Yes, I do, which is important in case I get that cog. Yeah. Which might get me a crystal back. So there, I get and the crystal get back. The crystal, yeah. Which is fine by me. Yep. I lose the endurance, yeah. which is our gray shield. And then my other guy gets to attack. And exactly. I will spend that gem for a red. Yeah. All right. So hopefully I can swing one back here for a five. For a five. Uh, it's a six. six hmm. It's quite nice. OK. I will use the red die. No, I don't have anything. I've burnt your resource. You see what yeah. I'm doing? Grinding you down yeah. with multiple attacks. Yeah. It, it starts to work, yeah. actually. I will use the yellow one and Well, you've got just three. So you need a three on the yellow, which isn't bad. Yeah. And he and gets a four. I got a four. Oh, as I guns. said, as I said. Ah. All yeah. right. So for the counter attack, yeah. hmm, I will not pay <laughs> anything. With anything. Yeah. I'll use just a yellow die and hope for the best. For a one. It's a three. Not bad. I will defend. For a four. And you defend. Fabulous. Excellent. But Good because job. it's my active, yeah. no counter attack. We forgot about moving the time track. Ah. This scenario takes only five turns. Ah, and, and is each of our activations a turn? Yeah. So so we had the first turn. Yeah. You started the second turn now. Yeah. So we are still on the place ah, one. And so after my second turn, we will move to number two. Like so. Explain right. once again. So All right. I began activation one. Yeah. You had activation two. Uh, it was, yeah, it was first turn. Yeah. Two activations. Yep. It's now nine. It's nine. Your first activation, uh, your activation. Now it will be mine activation. It will be turn two, and then it will start the turn three. You get it. At the start yeah, of so the turn, I do one, you do one. Turn goes round. Yeah. I do one, you do one. Turn goes round. Yeah. Exactly like. There so. we go. So we each All have right. five activations. Yeah. Is the easy way to say it for everybody else. Yeah, more or less, unless uh, those tokens mean actually something. Okay. Hmm. All right. So for. Uh, not yet. All right. I'm not letting you off that easy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, I spent that crystal, which I needed to buy my other attack. You see? You Blast. see? So I'm actually done. I'm going to bin a card and grab All a right. fresh one, All which right. is fine. Now, if I have an action card that tells me to move, does that negate paralysis? Uh, no. Nope. Paralysis means you're blocked. That yeah. means you cannot move voluntarily. Gotcha. Oh, well. Uh, yours then. All right. I'm in a quite good spot to actually do a passive turn, and I think I will. Mm -hmm. So uh, during my passive turn, yeah, each of my uh, units in base-to-base -base contact with a crystal source mm -hmm. will gather uh, new crystals. Yeah. So I get one per controlled crystal source. Mm -hmm. Controlled means that there are only my models in base-to-base yeah, -base no contact. Enemies. Yeah. So there so you I go. Get two. Sure. two yeah, to my active pool, mm -hmm. and I get to refresh those four for uh, from my depleted yeah. crystal pool. Yeah. So you can see I'm bringing the pain in the next yeah. turn. Yeah. And then and that's it for my okay. passive turn. It's quick. Yeah. It's easy. 
Yeah, it's, it's literally just taking a breather for a second. Yeah, and now you see that, you know, something scary is coming your way. Maybe my car yeah. uh, you know. I think now we are up to third turn. Yeah. Aisha wiped the putrid, faceless blood from her cheek. From the height of her mound, she could see the battle taking a turn for the worse. The faceless, animated by crystals buried deep within their chests, didn't feel pain or fear. Every part of their bodies was also a weapon with jagged blades, barbs and spikes protruding from their tortured flesh. Neither spells nor clouds of poison could slow them. Aisha looked back to a group of tree mates defended by a handful of ancients. The sewing. It had to survive. Many riders were still fighting. She could gather them for a last suicidal charge, trying to open a way through the middle of the faceless herd. Reborn player chooses. Aisha sacrifices all of her riders and tries to give the tree maids a chance to escape. See script 12. Aisha decides to hold her forces together. Why not kill as many faceless as they can? The battle continues. Uh, so the reborn, reborn player chooses. Aisha sacrifices all of her riders and tries to give the tree maids a chance to escape. See script 12. Or Aisha decides to hold her forces together why not kill as many faceless as they can? Uh, the battle continues. And what I, would you like to do? I think from what I see, I'm in pretty good spot. So I think I will uh, save my uh, riders for later. Ooh, okay. I won't, you know, so we don't I won't sacrifice them. No, so the script 12 is for another playthrough, <laughs> I think. Or for in, someone's playthrough at home. Exactly. So no spoilers now. <laughs> Okay, so the we're battle continues, on. so it's your turn. Yeah, and I think I'm actually going to take a passive turn myself because okay. at this stage, you're looking really powered up, and I want a little bit of something. So I've got the one guy here who's going to generate me a crystal, and that will yeah. all come across to there. Okay. And at the end of my turn, I can still discard. Ah, no, important thing. This because I took a passive turn. Yeah. Is the paral paralysis token that will go away? There you go, sir. All right. And hmm. <laughs> Just check with your help card if you can do that. Uh, so this card? Yeah. On the opposite side, you have a passive turn. Uh -huh. You cannot discard any action so cards now. Harvest, gather one crystal for each uh, crystal source. Refresh crystals, move all crystals from depleted pool to crystal pool. Refresh the banner card. Uh, we so don't you don't get discards during your passive yeah. turn. That's the thing. That's a shame. Oh, oh well. Sorry, sorry. This is how the game works. Uh, it's now on to yours. Yeah. And, and I, I, will, I have some defenses, which is good. I will start, uh, before activating any of my squads, I will play one card. Mm -hmm. This is an enchantment. Okay. It's a dodge and animate wood. Uh -huh. Special enchantments for the tree mates. Uh -huh. It's pretty good because dodge allow me to, uh, as the name says, mm -hmm. dodge any close combat attacks. Gotcha. I pay one crystal for that. Uh -huh. I place one charge. Uh -huh. Ah, uh, so this token. Yep. Those okay. Are charges. Uh huh. And I place it on the card. Yes. So now I can spend this charge mm -hmm. at any moment mm -hmm. for dodge because it has this white outline. I see. On the card. I see. That means this card is an instant. Mm -hmm. And the other part can uh, allows me actually to teleport mm -hmm. any number of tree mates with the same number of fickets. So now ah. I can swap places between tree mates and pickets. I, see. I can teleport around. Sneaky stuff. Yeah, Sneaky as stuff. you can see, the the, the, the tree folk is, is mm -hmm. pretty pretty crazy in that. I will leave this uh, charge where it is. And I will see what this blight steed is able to do. Mm -hmm. We need to finish off this harvester on before it grows even more strong. <laughs> I think... Well, I'm I guessing because we're playing campaign, any of my stuff that survives is going to keep its upgrades for the next battle? Uh, actually, not quite. No? Uh, you have your special mechanic. Mm -hmm. It is on the campaign board. Mm -hmm. And uh, after each of the missions, each uh -huh. of the scenarios, you will get... Either uh, you will add some evolution uh, mm -hmm. points, or you will... Um, 
remove them ah, from I your see. And is that what allowed me to evolve at the start of the battle? Yeah, it will evolve. Uh, it will let you add new cards, mm -hmm. the more powerful cards to your deck. Mm -hmm. It will allow you to give you access to your banner card, mm -hmm. to your shrine uh, gotcha. token, and so on. Gotcha. So your fa your uh, faction will get more powerful uh, mm -hmm. the more mission we will play. Got it. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, what are you activating? So I will activate actually my blight steed. Okay. And they will go like so. One, two, three, and four. Ooh. Over here. So I am okay. in base to base contact with this ticket. Yeah. It might come in handy <laughs> in the next turn. Yeah. And I will attack you. Mm -hmm. By you, I mean your harvester. Yes. I will pay one crystal to get a red die. Okay. I have plus two to attack. Awesome. Uh, my defense I is have plus one. And my initiative is higher than yours, so yep. I get two to attack versus first. three. Yep. For and a it's two a two. With a cog. Yeah. So I think I will reroll because two <laughs> is not good enough for me. <laughs> Don't right. get greedy now. Oh, come on. I have like three, three left. <laughs> Oh, it's again, again two. The dice cards have spoken. I can still reroll. Nah, <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> I can yeah, keep going. Nah, I will just refresh this crystal. <laughs> okay. Now. And it's plus. It's four against your one. Well. Yeah. Um, it at least will you know make you spend your crystal token. Oof. Let me have a look at these dice here. So there are two faces with zero. Yep. Which and I one, you? two, three, four. I really do. I only need to meet it. Yeah. You only need to tie. So I only need a one. So there's a sixty percent chance on this dice, roughly, Why one? on the yellow. It's two, two plus, plus two. It's oh four. damn! In that case, I have to spend one for the red. Okay. I can't not. Oi. And I get a one. A one. Maybe you but want to reroll. Re and I will reroll. Uh, oh, for nice. a six. It's okay. A six. No damage. I get to counterattack. Yes. Now it's your turn to counterattack. Yeah, your defense is plus two. I'm going to spend yeah. one for a red dice. Come on. For a five. For a five. So it's an eight. Yes. Mm, only six may actually. Oh, huh, yeah. Why not? <laughs> Are you going for it? <laughs> why you not? Know, let's try. OK. <laughs> nah. Four. No good. So no magic will uh, help me this yeah. time. So you'll okay, lose so your endurance. I lose my endurance. All right. So the next uh, wound uh, Blight Seed will get will kill her. And I get to <laughs> pick one card. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do something a little weird. Okay. So I have a card which allows me to move all models in a faceless squad one. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to play that on uh, the Berserker unit here. Okay. Uh, so these guys are getting one free movement. And if I do this right, this guy... And this card was for free. Yes, for zero, zero cost. All right. So hmm. this guy will move to here. Okay. Uh, this guy will stay where he is. Mm -hmm. And this guy will move to here. Okay. Uh, everything needs crystals, and I've spent them all again. Last. You see? Now I'm using your tactics against yeah. you. Yeah. However, uh, from where I am, these two guys will attack the two tree maids here. Okay. Which one will start? Uh, this guy here. Oh, okay. So I will use my, uh, my enchantment. Mm -hmm. Now, do we still roll? First. I yep. will use this dodge. Uh huh. And that completely negates my attack before I do anything? Yeah, exactly. And it lets me move. Go ahead. Any adjacent space. Yep. So if I'm breaking the base to base uh, contact. Yep. No, pr no penalties, I assume? Yeah. So she will dodge over and here. And are you able to move through the thicket? Uh, you finished your movement when you started your combat. So dodge happens afterwards. Oh, no, 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 no. Whenever you make your move. Yeah. Are you free yes. to move through a thicket? We can go through a thicket. Am I? Also you. Okay. Yeah. It well, will it will only impend movement if you have mm -hmm. uh, like shatterer, like yeah. the guy on the big bo uh, yeah. big base. Now here's an important thing. I attacked before their movement because I used the card to get the movement. Good good catch. Good catch. <laughs> so Actually, next attack is here. Of course. So it's just a plus one on a yellow die. 
Let's see what I get. For a zero. Oh, come on. <laughs> I do get a crystal back. Come on. All right, I have plus two, so I already defended. So I will use this. You're going to counter attack? Uh, first, I will defend. <laughs> so yeah. I can refresh a crystal. If you're lucky. No, uh, no. I'm not. And but now I will counter attack. Yeah. Oh, why not? Let's just, you know, oh, don't put, do some sh put some shame on your berserkers. Oh. Yeah, red die. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, killy, killy three mates. Here, here we go. Oh, sorry. Oh. For a one. For a one. Or maybe for a reroll. No, I will stay with this one. I get another it, crystal. It lets me refresh a crystal. As you can <laughs> see, those crystals are moving all the time yeah. between, the, between the pools. All right, because it's only a one. Uh, it's a two. I a have two? a plus one already. I can do that on this. Go for it. <laughs> for a three. For a three. I'm fine. Nice. <sighs> nice. OK. But um, that was your uh, attack activation for this squad. Yeah, but I'm not done yet. I know, <laughs> I know. You have some pretty nasty cards over there. Yeah. So I'm going to play one, which will get me uh, an extra combat. Extra combat, yeah. Maybe you want to move first. Actually, good idea. Yeah, go for it. Thank you for reminding me. So You're welcome. Uh, he moves one into this space, and he'll just go to here. Exactly like so. This guy will move one space to here. I can maybe chase you down. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy, he doesn't need to move. So oh, but maybe he wants to. Um, well, if he moves into this space, would yeah. probably be a good idea, because then yeah, I'm not exactly. in base with this. And also, you contest this crystal source, so I don't uh, get yes. any crystals from it. OK, uh, so now I will pay one crystal for a fresh combat. All right. And I now have two berserkers attacking two of your girls again, or your maidens again. Yep, and I, I don't really have any. do not do that kind of thing. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> oh. we will start here. With these two? OK, I don't have any charges on my dodge, so yep. I cannot do any so dirty tricks flat now. Flat roll, but you do have crystals that you can use to go yeah. for a red dice. Exactly. So that's a three plus a one becomes a four. Yeah, and I will use a red die. I want those three mates to survive. Yeah, well, that's that's your goal. Yeah, exactly. So it's a two plus two. It's a four. It's Meets a five, it. but it's tie in my uh, advantage. Uh, my activation, so is it the attacker gets the advantage or the defender? Always for the defender. It's Always easier defender? to defend to, uh, than to attack. Gotcha. You get to break the tie in uh, initiative, mm -hmm. but I get to break the, tack, uh, the tie in the defense. Important thing to note. OK, one more I round refresh of the to... crystal. Uh, yeah. And I get to counter attack. attack. Ah. And again for the red die. <laughs> yep. Oh, for a one. Okay. I, can, I should be able to beat that. Yeah, four, yep, easy, but I still get refreshed the crystal. <laughs> yep. <laughs> My word. All right, uh, we then have the attack happening over here. Exactly. So I'm just going with the yellow again for a one. Uh, it's a two. a two. So my tree mate already defended, but I will use yellow die. Uh -huh. Just maybe I will refresh another crystal. I'm a yep. greedy player. <laughs> <laughs> it's a free. Not free, but still I get to counterattack you. Maybe at least one wound. Why not? <laughs> Those, oh, those three mates, as three you can mates. see, they are not made for killing. No. But maybe this time? Three? Not bad. Yeah. Three plus one. It's uh, a four. It's four. I have to roll well on the yellow dice. Yeah. Uh, for a zero. Not good enough, but still you get a crystal. Yeah, so I will I'll get my crystal back, but I will take a wound because I believe this is the unit. Yeah. This is the unit with the small blades, and they had already used it. So, yeah. Does he have the small blades? Yep. Then the endurance is used, and he's dead. So that's an important thing for this. You guys did two sculpts to differentiate the unit. Small blades, big blades, to actually keep yep. things nice and simple for everybody. So he's dead. Yeah, he's Thanks dead. Thanks for that. We are not playing with victory points in this no, scenario, no. so it's only for me. Less to be attacking you, yep. to be honest. And I only get one more activation to attack you with. Yeah. Yikes. So. And then end of my turn. Yes, you so get to draw. draw. One or two. Up to three cards on your up hand. Up to three. OK, that's OK. Exactly. But, but actually, I could go for a passive turn now, you know. <laughs> you could. Just to you know, just pump gather you more a crystals. bit. Yeah, or maybe I will kill your harvester. Mm. Mm. Let me think. First things first. Mm, yep. I will use a uh, woodwalk. OK. This is the upper part of the card. Uh huh. And it allows me uh, to uh, move one reborn model uh, base to base from uh, one ticket to another. Uh -huh. So she will just disappear <laughs> and reappear over here. OK. All right. Mm. So that was the first thing. Uh, the second thing, I will pay one crystal, mm -hmm. use herbs. That's 
all of this stuff is happening before uh, I activate any of my models. Yeah. So you can just start playing cards without selecting yeah. an activation? Yeah, exactly. Right. So uh, I will use uh, herbs to restore, restore an endurance token mm -hmm. from On one him. of my models base to base with Ficket. Yeah. As you can see, this lady, yeah. this cavalry lady, is uh, getting one is back. getting healed. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's getting one uh, endurance token back. Mm -hmm. All right, and now I will activate an ancient guardian. Okay. And I will attack your harvester. <laughs> okay. Uh, you have the higher initiative, so you will get to attack me first. Ah, actually. interesting. Yeah, um, I have that there. I don't know, actually. I think he still had one. Could be. Yeah, so Could it was be one actually. and one. Yeah, actually, before it. attacking you, yeah. I think maybe I should flip the side. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I will not move at all. Okay. I have zero movement, zero initiative, but yeah. plus three to attack. And as you can wow. see, Top. I have a free reroll on the defense. This Yikes. dice icon yeah. shows it. All right, well, I'm just going to roll a yellow, seeing as I'm being forced to attack. I don't want to spend that crystal. Okay. I don't have enough resource. Uh, so I get a one. It's uh, four. Plus three becomes a four. Yeah, so I will use a uh, yellow die also. I have a free reroll, yep. so probably I'll manage to hit yep. one. And uh, four, you're four. Fine. It's good enough. Yep. And so now, now you get to attack? Yes. It's a so counter. It's a normal attack counter attack. Ah. But you were starting, so I was gotcha. counting on the counter attack. I see. So you can try to attack me, but because I'm quicker, I get the, the yeah. attack, and then that forces yeah. you into the counter attack. Exactly. Interesting choice. Exactly. It's uh, done so uh, you need to think all the time about the initiatives of the models. Mm -hmm. if it, it, you have it adds a really nice dynamic to the yeah. combat. For example, we have another uh, faction, uh -huh. Vergar, yep. and they are like really slow in terms of initiative, but mm -hmm. really, really defensive uh, faction. Gotcha. Think gotcha. like, you know, Siege Masters or ah, some see. kind. Uh, it's, it's shaping up to be very interesting. So are you making any movement after that? Actually, I still need to roll for oh, my yeah, counter attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, ah, you yes, are you are forgetting, oh, you know, most my brain <laughs> in the best possible moments. Ah, oh, come on! He, he has me confused. I'm dazed. I'm on the ropes. <laughs> All right, so I will pay for a red die now. Okay, just for this finishing blow. Oh, uh, it won't be a finishing blow. No, no, no. Not yet. Uh, it's a five, five plus three. It's an eight. Go on. Roll an 8 with your d6. No, I'll just take that. But still, roll. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I still have to roll a dice, yeah. so I'll just roll a yellow and see if I can get a crystal back. Oh. Nope, the dice gods hate me. Unfor unfortunately. <laughs> yes. And I still get a movement, or I can play a card. Yeah, yeah. And I think I can do something quite useful now. Mm -hmm. I will use Woodwalk again. Uh -huh. I have another card <laughs> with this. OK. And I will teleport this guy uh -huh. over here. Uh huh. So if you want to move your uh, harvester, yeah. you will have to push it. And pushing ah. means you have to finish the movement on this exact space. Yeah, and that forces me because you can't be half over the different yeah. spaces. During movement also, you need to place the model yeah. on the space. Okay. That so you will have to go around mm -hmm. to catch those uh, yeah. three mates. Are you done? Yeah, now I'm done. I don't have any cards left. So I don't have any, any crystals left. Yep. I just draw three yep. cards, two and three. My deck is almost finished. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going three. to play a card that I had wished to Wait a second. We oh. have the. Oh, is there another turn. story event? Yep, we have another story event. Yeah. Reborn player may activate two units instead of one, performing their moves and attacks in any order. So As you, you can, can see, double. I get furious during this battle. Yeah. You get that, that last chance to, to hit me or Scarper. Yeah. All right, now, I'm going to play a card that I had wished dearly I got earlier in this game. Okay. Because it would have been really useful. Called Swarm. It allows me to uh, move oh. three faceless units. If I got that a little sooner, I could have actually got into you a little better. But my own tactical ineptness has let me down. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is this guy mm -hmm. is going to move... And he, they just get a full move, or is it move one space? You get a full move. OK, so one, two, three, and he'll end there. OK. Uh, he'll move for one, and end there. All right. And uh, he has also this guy in his squad. Yep. It's three squads, not three models. Yep. So he will move to here. OK. 
Uh, this guy is going to, well, he may as well move. So he'll move into this space and move to here. All right. Uh, this one. This one already moved. Already moved. Yeah, it does. Uh -huh. So this guy yeah. moves and it goes to here. Okay. This guy was in here, so he'll move and go into here. Okay. Yeah. So that could have really reformed my lines a lot earlier in this game. But sometimes, you know, like, don't draw the cards. Yeah. Okay, so it's my last activation of the game. I'm going to go for a little bit of pride, a little bit of redemption. I want to kill at least one tree maid. So I'm going to okay. activate the harvester and have him attack a tree maid. All right. You have the higher initiative, so you attack first. Yep. So it's a, a plus three. Now, because of my moves, I did spend that. And so I'm only rolling a yellow die. Although, mm -hmm. actually, I'll spend a bit of endurance. Okay. To roll a red die, because this is end of game. So, there we go, four two. <laughs> come on. <laughs> so I will get a crystal back because oh, I have nothing else to do. Okay, so we have a plus five. I don't have any crystals left. Yeah. So I just think five. I will pay with this endurance token. Yeah. To get a red die. Yeah. And it's a one, one. You for a total of three. Yeah. I get a crystal back. Well, you could re-roll with an endurance. Yeah, but I can spare one tree mate. If you want. I just need to survive with at least two of those. So, you <laughs> okay, know. so one dead tree mate. Cold calculation, Nature's, nature doesn't have any, you know, yeah, yeah. like favorites. All so right, well, this tree mate died. That's at least a mild bit of redemption for me. I killed yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. uh, that ends my turn. All right. So I'm going to discard. Yeah. Actually, yeah, what is this? Whoa! Okay, I should have been saving crystals a bit more. <laughs> I just read one of my cards. Uh, I'm going to discard it now, but I'll show everybody. It's All called right. Hell. Yeah. It allows me to combat with three units. It's a very good combo with yeah. this swarm you played just a second earlier. Yeah, I think I was way too eager this game. Yeah, <laughs> you. Uh, I think you overcommitted a bit. Yeah, I should have held back, went for those crystal areas first, because you have to go for them too. And if I had managed yeah. that... I could have actually had the resources to actually do yeah. more. You can rolling. see, you can see how how yeah. powerful they are. You yeah. actually got your. Yeah, this uh, has been big learning for me. Yeah. But your last activation, First and you get to activate two units. Two units, yeah. And, and I, I still get, get those three cards on my hand. Uh huh. And I think I will start with. Uh, oh yeah, why not? <laughs> I will pay. Here, huh? Yeah, why not? I'm worried. <laughs> I will pay one crystal. Yeah. To attach, uh, blitz. Uh -huh. Actually, it says it's uh, for the Blightsteed, but uh -huh. the top part will still work with any of my units. Yeah. And it gives me a reroll for one charge. Ah. So I will attach it to Ancient God. Mm -hmm. So now I have a reroll for defense for free. And yeah. for one charge, I have one reroll of attack, yeah. perhaps, perhaps. And I will activate this Ancient God. Mm -hmm. And it will attack uh, these yeah, the Berserkers. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. And I will use... Uh, Yellow die <laughs> to activate this to attack this berserker and the one here. in front. Okay. Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, what have you done? Actually, your berserker gets to attack first. You have uh, the higher initiative. Oh initi uh, uh, yes. I have an initiative of zero, so <laughs> my dice weren't rolling at all. Okay, I'll just roll a yellow. Okay. For a one becomes it's a two. two. I have a plus three already. Yeah, but you roll so anyway. I'm rolling a zero. And you get, I get a crystal, crystal back, back, which is nice. I spend this crystal for counter attack with a red die. Yeah. That's how we roll. <laughs> and a 5 plus 3, it's fine. It's yeah. 8 already. Yeah, but I roll mine. I get nothing back and I lose a guy. Yeah. So he dies. Boop. Exactly. And for the second activation, I will yeah. use a Blight Steed. Mm -hmm. And this Blight Steed will kill. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting greedy already. Yeah. Uh, this Blight Steed will go like so. One, two, and three. Ah, now there's a question. You're able to move through any yeah. gaps? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, because I need to place the whole base on each yeah. space I go through. Yeah. So at this space, I'm already placed. Uh -huh. Here, I can, I can fit my model. Yeah. Also here, also here. Gotcha. So you actually have to physically fill every space and yeah. force them to push you. So I will flip. flip. Uh -huh. I have initiative of two, uh -huh. plus four. So probably I will go through your armor. Yeah. So, oh, sorry. You're OK. Ah, I'm destroying everything then. <laughs> One. And so the world burned. Two. Three. Three. Oh, wait, wait, not. Four. Yeah, like so. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Dara. I came, came <laughs> here to kill you. 
All right. And I will roll. Hmm. I will use this endurance token to roll a red die. <laughs> yeah. Greedy. Hit it. Four plus four. four is an eight. Okay. Uh, well, my defense is plus one, so even if I roll a six, it's no good. Yeah. So, <laughs> dead. With this epic last charge, <laughs> I slayed the monster. Yeah. That, that was a very good learning experience for me. Because I'm now seeing the absolute value of these crystals. Yeah. These make so much of a difference to your chances. Learning when to play your cards. Uh, yeah, like actually getting to cycle through your cards, being able to discard one every turn is definitely useful. I didn't realize just how quick this game was going to be whenever we started playing it. Uh, right, everybody, we're going to tidy up and then we're going to go through the campaign phase for exactly. this first round of the campaign. We'll be right back. So at the conclusion of the yep. battle... Yep. We get to read our, um, either we get uh, some reward yep. or sometimes some penalties. What so, happened to me? So for you, Faceless, for your inept, uh, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> for your inept fighting, yep. you get to remove one from your Faceless evolution counter. So okay. over here. Yeah, so this. If you would get any mm -hmm. of the evolution points already. Yeah you would get uh, minus one. But you are on the first space, I'm on the, so the you bottom, cannot yeah. go so worse. There's nothing. Yeah. That's OK. You don't devolve <laughs> right now. <laughs> well, uh, I believe this is a word in English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Devolve All right. is a word. <laughs> All right. So I get uh, some rewards. Mm -hmm. uh, normally, I would get uh, my uh, one of my three mates. If it would survive, it would be still OK for me. Mm -hmm. I would get a reward. Script 16, mm -hmm. but since two of my three mates, uh -huh. actually three of my three mates uh, survived, yeah. and my ancient god survived, yeah. I get to read script 19. Script 19. Would you like so, me to take the. Oh, well, maybe I will do the honors. If you want. You if know, you, I, won. Victory. I won. I <laughs> won. All right, so mm, just let me see it. When Iris broke off from the battle, she discovered she wasn't the only one to do so. Just a hundred yards south, another tree made. A Yardi burst through the faceless ranks, flanked by two massive guards. Iris joined her, running down the hill, as far away from the enemy as they could. No, Iris, the other tree mate scoffed. We must divide. More chances for the sowing to reach the mother forest. One of my guards will go with you. Iris nodded. They parted without goodbyes. No words were necessary. They had both grown from a single stem and knew exactly what the other one had felt. Place sticker B03, second survivor, on the corresponding slot of the campaign map. Place sticker B04, Iris Guardian, in the forces section of the campaign map. And I get to play stickers. Oh, yeah, because that's the that's funniest part about, about the campaign to play stickers yeah. on the board. We have this big booklet of them, but this is the ones we need for this campaign, yeah? Yeah, there are actually two uh, copies, so you ah. can replay the campaign, so you can switch sides and play ah. another campaign, another version of the, uh, the like Edge that. world will, you know, will unravel. I like that, okay. With different so. choices, different outcomes, different stickers in different mm -hmm. places usually. All right, so it's B03. So, yes, yeah, second survivor on the corresponding slot of the campaign map, so mm -hmm. we are looking for B03, it's yep. over here. Or B04. Irish Guardian in the forces uh, section of the campaign map. I believe it's both, actually. Oh, you put both? Yeah, I can, I can you know, I can uh, actually uh, give yeah. you one so you can place no, no, one and I will place okay. another. I, I, I will get my revenge and I will put my stickers on this board. All right. So B03. Yeah. We have so a second survivor over this here. This location up here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And B04. Yeah. Over here. Where is B04? Okay, let's... No, it's uh, it's in the forces section. And here we ah. have the first section is forces, so that's the powers, top. and the losses. I see. And as you can see, you have your section over there. I see, so these go into here. Yeah, so now the campaign, the game remembers uh -huh. the outcomes. So in gotcha. the next scenario or the scenario after that, they might be checked mm -hmm. and some other stuff will happen. Gotcha. All right, so that's, that's what's happened with our campaign so far. Anything more? Yeah. That's, I think that's all. You got your penalty. It doesn't uh, do you it much didn't right affect now. Me, yeah. 
But, uh, but in later games, that, that could be quite painful if I start losing evolutions. Good uh, thing is that I still have my full forces. Yeah. I didn't lose almost anyone. Yeah. So yeah. my forces counter is unaffected. It will also have some impact in mm. the later missions. Gotcha. All right, well, everybody, I tell you what, get those comments in below. How would you have played this one compared to what I've done? I'm very curious to see what tactics you guys would actually play with this, how you would have actually changed what was being done on the tabletop. And drop me below. Tell me what you think of the main mechanics of this game. We'll move on, and we'll be back for another uh, scenario mission uh, for the campaign very soon. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now, and be sure to check out beastofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays and while you're at it why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong go on you know you want to click it go on